Welcome to Nathan's Guitar Reviews. Um, today I'm doing a really quick review on this LTD SN 1000 HT. It's a fairly new guitar. Uh, a lot of retailers are just now getting it. It was announced at AM 2020. Uh, it's from ESP, uh, L their LTD brand, which is their more affordable lines. But there's a lot of features on this guitar that I would say uh, really exceed the expectations on an affordable guitar. <laughs> We'll start by talking about uh, what this review will be like. So, obviously, guitars are meant to make sound, but this is not a review of my playing or my gear setup. So, I'm focusing more on the hardware of the guitar for this video. Uh, obviously, depending on how you plug it into an amp and what you're playing through pedal wise and your specific finger style, it's going to sound a little different. So, this is focusing on the hardware. Uh, so, this guitar is new for this year. It was unveiled at the uh, 2020 NAMM show. Uh, lots of little features on this make it, in my opinion, a really big deal for an LTD guitar. So let's start with the neck, because that's where I see the most innovation from LTD in this specific line. So you have a roasted maple neck, and you can see it's fairly dark, which is uh, usually a sign of high quality roast. But you also get stainless steel frets. And on an LTD, that's a huge deal. This is the first LTD guitar that comes with stainless steel frets. And if you're not familiar with them, there's a couple major benefits to a stainless steel fret versus a nickel alloy. Uh, the most cited is gonna be that they last forever. Uh, but in my opinion, the best uh, benefit to them is just how they feel. They're really, really smooth. Uh, I mean, you can, when you bend, you just, there's no resistance. It's just amazing. Uh, but there's also less upkeep. So Every now and then, uh, on a lot of these nickel alloy fret guitars, I'll have to go through and just do minor fret work here and there as the neck changes shape over time. And uh, as certain ones get worn out more than others, you'll see that a lot with the cowboy cord frets. Um, but these, these should essentially stay the same forever. So once you get them set up right, you know, there's not a lot of work you're going to have to do. Uh, the second major uh, addition to this neck is these scalloped frets. And this is definitely going to be more of an opinion-based feature. Uh, some people might like them, some people might hate them, but uh, you have scalloped frets from the 17th all the way to 22. So what that just means is you your finger is less likely to rub up against the fretboard when you're uh, playing on these notes. So it's to, in my opinion, it's a lot easier to play these. Uh, and it's just easier to, to do vibrato and um, you can kind of push instead of go back and forth because you have plenty of room. Um, but they're, they're so well done. It's, it's an amazing feature, and I, frankly, I'm a little spoiled by it. Um, all in all, with this guitar, I'm spoiled by the stainless steel frets and the scallop frets. So you also have a truss rod adjustment at the heel instead of at the headstock, which to me is a no-brainer. I'm not sure why anybody would be installing them at the, the neck level still, other than for maybe historical uh, accuracy on certain reissues and things like that. But... To me, that's just the way to go. It's so easy to adjust. Being roasted maple, you're not gonna have to change the truss rod too much. You're, it's kind of a set and forget for the most part, unless you're really changing climates uh, and temperatures, but it's a stable wood. So I've set mine out of the box and it hasn't needed an adjustment since. I've only had it for about a week, but uh, either way, it's I expect it to be pretty stable. So there's still a lot of other talking points other than the neck on this guitar. Uh, you have a hip shot bridge, which I'm a Floyd Rose player. Uh, I'll take a Floyd Rose over anything else any day. I love the feel. Um, but this, it feels a lot like a, a Floyd Rose to your hand when you're palm muting, which is really nice. Um, I'd still prefer it to be a Floyd Rose, but uh, it, there's a lot of benefits to having a hardtail guitar. Uh, all my guitars here essentially are Floyd Rose, so it's nice to have something that mm. if I really quickly need to, I can change the tuning. So not only do you have a fixed bridge, but you get locking tuners, which in a guitar this price range is essentially expected at that uh, point, but they work really, really well. Uh, this came from the factory. These, these are still the factory strings, which are uh, pretty good. They're Diodarios, I think 10s, uh, which is essentially, I use NYXLs anyways, the set of 10s. But this came out of the box, perfectly tuned. 
and it has stayed almost perfectly tuned. Done a couple minor revisions when I adjusted the neck, but for the most part, it's rock solid. Um, really, really, really like these tuners. I, they're not name brand, they're just LTD branded, but they work perfectly. Uh, and one really nice thing is even from the factory, these had been installed correctly. You see a lot of brands that when they ship with locking tuners, you still see wraps around the post for some reason, which kind of defeats a lot of the purpose. Uh, the nut is just a plastic nut. Uh, so far, I, I don't have any complaints with it. It seems very well set up from the factory. I, I probably will go through and file the G-string a little bit. It's a little high if I do the tap test, but it's still amazingly playable. Um, the, the file job's pretty clean. There's a little bit of a there's some, there's some tooling marks here on the E string, but for the most part, really, really good. Uh, very well set up. I'm, I'm impressed with it. So for pickups, these are the Seymour Duncan Sentient and Pegasus. Uh, they're in a really cool matte black finish that fits this guitar style really well. They come with a push-push potentiometer for uh, tapping the coil so you get single coil sounds out of humbruckers. Not exactly single coil sounds, but... Uh, really, really close. And I find that the middle position with it, both pickups tapped, sounds really, really good in a clean channel. This is probably my favorite clean sounding guitar I own. Uh, you just get really good balance of tone. Uh, and then when you, obviously, you can go full humbucker, full neck pickup. I'm not a huge neck pickup player. I'm not, uh, I'm more of a rhythm player than lead, but I, I really do enjoy the sound of this. This is also my only 22 fret guitar. So you get to move the humbucker, the neck humbucker a little bit closer to the fretboard and you get a, a little bit more of a, a mellow sound, I would say. So it sounds great. I, I really enjoy it. If you play metal, these things, uh, this bridge pickup can, can make some really crushing tones. Uh, it's good if you're scooping the mids. I'm not a scoop mid player. I mostly play JBs, if that says anything. But I found some really, really nice tones playing through an Ingle Savage uh, with a bit of a contoured scoop. All in all, uh, great pickups. Um, I'm impressed with them. I might still swap it out for a JB. That's just my personal style. Uh, I do that with most of my guitars. Uh, but it's nice to, like I said, it's nice to have the versatility of multiple tones and multiple guitars. And this one, you get a huge amount of uh, flexibility. And then it's a blade switch, which personal preference, I love blade switches. I'm not a big fan of toggle switches. Um, but otherwise, everything's what it is. It, it's great. Great hardware on this thing. One thing to point out is this is my first guitar with a push-push pot. It's interesting. Um, I, I prefer it to a push-pull. It's just easier when you're playing to, to kind of smack a knob than it is to pull it and push it. It does turn really, really, really easily. This is, um, it's not been a problem yet, but every now and then I'll, I'll notice that I've kind of hit it a little bit and turned it. I, I probably just need to calm down with my picking, but um, if I could find a way to tighten that up, that'd be nice. And I'm also not a big fan of these style knobs, the volume and tone. I, I prefer dome knobs, so I'll probably switch that out, but they work great. Uh, the volume positions, uh, it's, it seems like it's a bit further back than some of my other guitars, maybe. Uh, so I'm not hitting that one as much, but it also has a lot of resistance to them. So uh, Otherwise, as you can see, the body is this nice uh, sandblasted swamp ash which this is also my first Swamp Ash guitar. Um, what's so cool about this kind of finish is every single guitar is unique because you're essentially, the wood is gonna be figured differently. So uh, depending on what you, you get, you could have different patches of black and, and this is a, a really nice purple. Um, I really, really enjoy the one I got. There's not a ton of big black patches. There's a lot of figuring everywhere essentially. Um, and it just looks really, really striking. And it's an open grain finish, so it's got a, a texture to it. Um, but I've also noticed that it, it doesn't show fingerprints like at all, which is a really nice change because all my guitars are glossy. So that'll be a really nice uh, thing to get used to. Um, I'm sure it'll start to pick up oil from your where your hand sits and things like that. But all in all, it's just, it looks so nice. It's, I would say it's my most striking finish on any guitar I have. Um, I love the purple. Um, it's, it just looks really nice. It is a two piece, but they've paired these, the two pieces really, really well. You can't really see the line from either side unless you know where to look, or if you look down the uh, strap hole, then you can kind of see it.
but I'm extremely happy with the figurine I got on this. I would recommend that if you are going to buy one of these, if you can in person, that'd be nice because then you could see exactly what yours looks like. But also some retailers will also uh, post pictures of the exact serial number of the guitar you're buying. So um, check check into that if you're picky about the way it's, it's figured. Um, I kind of just rolled the dice and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So to talk about the flaws, um, there's almost none. I mean, I have to be really nitpicky to complain about this guitar, um, other than for personal preferences. The only real complaint I have, and I'll try to show it in camera, is the scalloped frets where they there's a little bit of a, a black spot where they probably polished the stainless steel frets and they didn't clean it very well down there. Um, I can clean that up no problem, and it's it's like I said, it's nitpicky. So thanks for watching. Uh, if there's any questions you had with this specific guitar, let me know. Uh, I hope this helped. There's not a lot of reviews on these yet. They're fairly new. There's not many in the market yet. A lot of retailers are just now getting them. I was pretty lucky and I pre-ordered mine so long ago that I was one of the first. Uh, so I hope this review helped. Again, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching.